Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. This week the question comes from Rick Spitzer that says, what do you do when you don't have enough of an overlap for auto-align layers? So auto-align layers does a nice job when there is some decent overlap, but if there isn't, it's not going to work as well. Now I have two photographs here that were taken moments apart, and honestly, auto-align layers probably would do a pretty good job in this case. But just to show you if, I, if it didn't, the couple of tricks that I would use if I was trying to manually line things up and be very accurate. The first one would be I would lower the opacity a little bit on the top layer. So now as I'm moving it over, I can kind of see the layer below and see if I'm doing a decent job of lining it up. So that's one possibility and I would usually start with that. Then I put the opacity back to 100% and you can see how it's, it's close. It's actually pretty close. I'm going to move it away a little bit just to show you the other option. If you change the blend mode of the top layer to difference mode, anywhere where the layers are the same, it's going to be black. So in other words, if I, using my arrow keys, I'm just nudging this over and I'm watching the size and I'm nudging down, see how this whole left side has become almost black? That means those pixels are actually really nicely lined up. Now, because these photographs were taken handheld a few seconds apart, there's a good chance that there's going to be some movement, so I'm not going to get the whole thing black. But I can decide, you see, as I'm moving, nudging around up and down, left, right, certain areas, now this middle part looks like it's lined up more. Or if I go down to the bottom, this bottom part looks like it's lined up. So you really have to just decide what's the most important thing to have lined up. And I think in this case, I'm most concerned over the staircase. So I'm going to try to get back. Now I've gone so far now, I don't remember where I was. There we go. So that part is the most part that's the most important to me. Then I go back to normal and now I can continue with whatever type of blending or, or whatever I wish to do. Now in this case, all I did was nudge left, right, up, down. The other thing, of course, if let's go back to difference mode for one more moment. If I also did free transform, you would notice the same thing would happen as I start to rotate slightly. Now a little more of it is coming black. So that's the other option is to try and say, okay, well now let's put this back to normal. And we can see that it did a pretty nice job of lining that up. So I would keep that in my back pocket. Auto align layer usually does a pretty nice job, but this change to difference mode is a nice way of manually lining up layers and making your life a lot simpler. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.